What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, King Ken TV. Right now I'm in my car, so it's gonna probably sound a little shaky. You probably hear a little bit of background noise, but man, I had to make another video again just because I feel like I need to give Panther fans their Monday clarity of like everything that happened over this past weekend in that Eagles versus Panther game, man. Like after sleeping on it, I'm still pissed. I'm still pissed. I try to I try to think of the positives, but the negatives just it just way it is way more than the positives, man. Like this this game versus the Eagles just did not make sense. It did not make sense. Like everything went our way. Just how we wanted it. Everything went our way. Like I, I just don't know, man. Like it's nothing I can say that can change my mind or even change our mind on like, hey man, we're gonna be okay. Cause at the end of the day, I don't know anymore, you know? I don't know anymore, bro. Sam Darnold, I, I'm still trying to rock with dude, but man, he done showed he done show me his his ass this game, man. Bro threw three interceptions. In this game, I honestly thought he could have, like, you know, put himself on the map. Maybe, maybe even put himself into, like, you know, MVP discussions, man. We were fuck, we were freaking three and one. We were three and one. All, all I thought was like, hey, man, this game, Sam Donald's gonna throw like he gonna throw like four in it, four touchdowns, maybe five, and maybe like one interception, you know? Because it's still Sam Donald at the end of the day. But this dude just. He go out there and throw three picks, three picks. And then I see a report from one of the Eagle players saying like, man, you can see what they were about to run a mile away. Like they just knew what we were in. They knew the plays that were about to be called before it was called. Like, and, and I said that in the, in the video before, like, man, all the plays from Joe Brady, it's all vanilla, man. It's all vanilla. Like everything that was being called, I was calling it before the play happened. I knew when it was going to be a run. I knew when they were going to try to run a, 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 um, to play action. Like, everything, you you just could, you could sense it. You could sense it, man. It was nothing that had me off balance. Like, oh, never mind. I didn't see that coming. They had one little play where they tried to run like a fake pitch handoff to DJ Moore. And it's like, bro, what, what the, what are we doing? We got bailed out because, bro, hit them after DJ Moore gave himself up, but it's like, yo, what is what is going on? Where is the passes downfield, man? When Joe Brady got signed, I was expecting for us to stretch the defense, like 20-yard gains, 15-yard gains, consistently. All I'm seeing is dump off, dump off, little five yards. Like, it's, right now it's looking like the, the wide receivers, Robbie Anderson, Terrace Marshall, DJ Moore, Ian Thomas, Christian McCaffrey, Chuba Hubbard. Those guys have to catch the ball five yards and then try to go and gain some yak. Like, this should not be happening. Yes, they can do it, but that shouldn't be happening. This is Joe Brady. Y'all told me this dude was supposed to be one of the best upcoming offensive coordinators, should be head coach. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it, man. I'm not seeing it. This dude, if it was up to me, and Panther fans can say what they want, man. But if it was up to me, this dude need to be on the hot seat. It's no reason we should be scoring 18 points with all these offensive weapons, man. It's no reason. We spent a second-round pick on Terrace Marshall, who y'all told us was supposed to be a first-round talent. He not getting first-round talent targets. It's not. It's just not making sense. It's not making sense, man. It's not making sense. 18 points. With DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, and Terrace Marshall, we should at, at the very minimum. I know CJ, I mean uh, CMC is at, is out, but it's like with these players, bro, we should be putting up at least 28 at the very minimum. 28 points. There's no reason DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson shouldn't have at least one touchdown a game. At least one a game. At least one. I feel like DJ and Robbie should have two a game. Maybe one of them might have one, the other one might have two, but it's, it's no reason, bro. It's no reason. We had Robbie wide open and sound. Leads him right back into the defender where the defender can make a play. Robbie had him beat. He had him beat, bro. 
He had him beat, man. This don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Then you got Terrence Marshall wide open on a slant. And you overthrow the mother. The dude is 6'3". How you overthrowing, Sam? What is going on with this dude, bro? Like, y'all y'all telling me, oh, it was Adam Gase. It was Adam Gase, man. Y'all can't keep blaming Adam for this. Y'all can't do that. Y'all can't do that, man. Y'all cannot do that. Now it's looking like, bro, I want to see C-Mac to sit out for at least a couple weeks because there was no need to rush him because I thought... We could win without him against these one and three teams, but no. We out here, we out here losing to Philadelphia, the Eagles. All they got is Devontae Smith and Jalen Hurts. What the hell is going on? What is going on, man? Make it make sense. Like this is this is getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous at this point, bro. It's getting ridiculous, man. Like yeah, that game. Once, you know what you know what made me mad? Where I knew it was Raps, though, and there was nothing we could do about it? Once Jalen Hurts scored that, which was a game-winning touchdown, and he hit that Cam Newton Superman pose. That pissed me off to the point where I was like, you know what? We're not going to be able to respond to that. But if we had Cam Newton, and y'all ain't going to like this, but we had Cam Newton, Cam Newton would have did it for us. Cam Newton would have got it done. And I feel like P.J. Walker could have got it done. Sam Darnold is not that guy, man. He's just not that guy. Sam Darnold is not that guy. And I'm going to make another video talking about Sam because this was just a Monday clarity. But I want y'all to know Sam Darnold, he is not that guy. I understand y'all saying, oh, he's a young quarterback. He's 24. We we got him for it. We got him for the long run. No, man. If, it's, if it was up to me, I do not want him after this season. I do not want him after this season. I don't. I don't, man. And I'm not going to bring up Deshaun Watson because Deshaun just going to cost too much to try to get. He's just going to cost too much to try to get, man. But knowing Scott Fitterer and the trades he done made, bro, you just traded for one of the – you traded for the 2019 Defensive Player of the Year. If we making trades like that, we need to be winning games that should be won. We making moves that some would consider – it's playoff potential, maybe even Super Bowl bound. But y'all out here losing to Philadelphia. Come on, man. Come on. Make it make sense, bro. Make it make sense, man. Scott, you need to sit Sam down and let him know, bro, you on the high seat. I know y'all signed Matt Rule. And Matt Rule, man, I'm not going to blame him. I'm not going to blame him. I'm blaming the offensive coordinator, bro. Y'all brought in this dude telling me he was going to be doing all types of stuff. LSU, they dropping 40, 35, 45 points on teams. Blowing motherfuckers out, bro. And we out here, we out here losing to Philadelphia, man. It's tough. It's tough, man. Excuse my language, but, man, it's tough. We should not be losing to teams like this, man. We should not be losing to teams like this. It don't make sense. It's not right. The defense did their job. The offense just it, I don't I don't know what to say, man. It, it's looking like C Mac gonna have to come back, hurt or not. He gotta come back. You gotta come back, bro. You have to come back. And Sam Darnold can't do it without you. Sam Darnold, a first round talent, cannot do it. He's not that guy. He will not be that guy if he keeps playing like this. You threw three picks. You threw two last week. That's five picks in two weeks. You, If it's any other quarterback, you're getting benched. You're getting benched. It's time to bring in the other back up. You can't do stuff like that on a playoff team, bro. This defense, it's legit. This offense, it ain't nothing without C-Mac, man. We are the Christian McCaffreys. We're the Carolina McCaffreys. Like, that's just what it is, man. I hate to say it, but it, without C-Mac... It look like we can't get nothing done. Nothing can be done, man. But that's going to do it for this video, man. I'm going to have a couple more videos. Probably going to be right here in the car. Because <sighs> it, it just don't make no sense, man. I don't know, man. Panther fans, y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feeling. Because I, I, just, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. It don't make sense. It just don't make sense.